Welcome back to the violent end of Duncan Malvain. So there's something wrong here, right? I mean, I don't not, don't mean the uh, skeleton in the chair per se. That's all perfectly normal. Or the boarded up room, or bricked up, I suppose. Also pretty damn normal, right? I wonder if the lights still work. Check that in a second. But um. It is the skeleton in the chair, right? Who is it? There hasn't been any talk about a missing person in the family or anything, as far as I can recall. This just seems to have no connection to anything I've read about so far. That's what I find extremely strange. Ah, what's like so much? All right. So who is it, Mr. Skelly, or Mrs. Skelly? I I can't tell. There is a picture of the fireplace, but uh, Maria. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I was terrified for Maria and for the child that she now carried inside her. Right, that was Gregor Malvane's wife. That was Duncan Malvane's mum, Maria. So who is this? Miss. Hi, metal squeaky noises. Now I wait here in the old drawing room, which I've walled off so that none should ever find and consecrate my remains. I've hidden the playing card keys all throughout the house. None should ever open that dread vault. None should ever again find what is inside. I have drunk the poison and soon I shall slip away in the hope that my son might have a chance at a better life. If anyone should read this, beware of the horror within the shrine beneath the old tower. Have a care for your soul, but do not pray for mine. It is already damned. Okay, so this is Gregor. I guess. Yeah, 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 hey. Yeah, I hear you squeak. Ready to scare me? Yep, good. Good, good, good. I still jumped. I was, you know, even though I was expecting that, I jumped. So, uh, God damn it, nobody told me this was going to be a horror. Mission. It was all supposed to be a murder mystery. It's like, okay, who murdered Duncan? Well, it's, as it turns out, it really doesn't matter. Still have four water arrows. That's, oh, hang on, I can't get back this way. That's weird. Because of the height of that, maybe. No. Oh, there we are. Okay, so this is the library, right, yes. Alright, so... I guess that explains this obvious thing here. Well, I haven't found that one yet. But uh, maybe that's also a second story one. In the playroom? No, there isn't a, there isn't a void there, right? I guess it does explain this, though. What's this room? I'll have to go to this room. Out the southern side here. Oh, this is the room. This is of course the balcony overlooking the courtyard where we have the uh, Six of Hearts. They need to see the car, yeah. Alright, we're getting close here. I have not been paying attention for purple holes, so I have to kind of keep open for that. Behind a bookcase. What bookcases? Lots of bookcases. 
Here's the one I haven't found. Well, what else is on the floor we're on right now? Uh, we're not on the ground floor in the courtyard. We are on the first floor. Playroom is here. There was one in the playroom, so let's go. Let's go to the playroom. Is this a priest? No, it's the security booth. Priest is on the next floor up, right? Playroom is second right. This is keeping warm. That's letting sound through and it really shouldn't. I guess I can spend another one hour. So I can look up in the chimney, hello. Beds. Uh, we did just go through a security room. I did not check. Although it was. It was the thing about being in the wall in the security room, right? Which is really seems to be that suspicious one here, I'm pretty sure. So here we have a bookcase. Is there a behind the bookcase? I suppose there could be one behind a bookcase just kind of wedged in, right? Without being a secret room. So we just need to keep an eye out for both cases. Alright, where else? Where next? Well, study, and we can go to the armor gallery, right? Well, there was up high above the armor gallery. I think we ought to go up to the next floor. Armor gallery upper, yeah. Let's go to the next floor up. So we want to head. Oh, that's not good. I was say we want to head east, but uh, we can't get anywhere useful from there. I guess we can go up to the roof. Oh, you know what? Since we're here, let's throw in a bunch of cards. Declutter my inventory. Mm. Well, that's eight, not nine. Seven. Take them not for why they're backwards in my inventory. Right, fair enough. I think you always end up going the long way around. is nearly finished. Hmm. All right. East, I was saying. East and south. I want to get back to the master bedroom, basically. Um, this is too high.
Always rats climbing over the roofs. Alright, so here's the master bedroom. Oh yeah, there's the one in the light in here, wasn't there? I see it. Okay, this is gonna be... Well, you know what? There's a bed to land on. So let's throw a repair up here. Hopefully should let us reach it. Yep. Six of spades. So, south to the army gallery. Wait. No, we want the upper level of the army gallery, which is from here, through the, through the bathroom here. I guess I can be reasonably noisy in because Lady What's Her Name isn't here anymore. I mean, she's, she's unconscious. You know what, I could even turn some lights on up here if I can find a switch. Because again, my ability to see is quite hampered. Alright. We do have a beam there in the middle. Which maybe hides it. What are we looking for? Which cards? <coughs> Three of diamonds. Sorry, that just had to go off. Uh, the third looked down from airy heights on a whole of armored, armored knights. So that does just that beam. Hello. Alright, good. I don't need to try and mantle it. Three diamonds, we gotcha. Well, I still haven't been there. Alright, where else are we here? We can go back to the vault, but uh, I forgot to bring one of those heavy things. We do have the main stairway nearby. I should probably knock out the guard that's wandering out just for the ease of getting about. That's a room that's locked up. Gonna have to examine these rooms, maybe there's another way into it. Why is this room locked up? Surely there's got some, some more secrets to reveal about uh, what happened to Gregor maybe? Or Duncan maybe? We can also get to the roof from here. Do I want to get to the roof from here? Uh, if I want to go to this room... You know what? Let's do it. Let's go up to that that bedroom. Or is it? No, that goes up. That, that stair doesn't go in there. That stairs goes in here. Yeah, because. Never mind. Hey! What was that noise? Sounded like a door opening. Very, very strange. Very strange indeed. the same way he's going. I oh, know, he's going in there. Right. 
just want to knock out and put on the bed, yes. The pagan sympathizer. So, I'm going to leave a question mark to even be able to suggest what more that room might be, but hmm. I can't mantle this. You're failing me, you mantle. I guess that's closing boxes, put over the top of all of it. Well, I've got to say, it seems unlikely there's a passage in from there. So... We are going to find a way into that room. <laughs> that scared me, I accidentally frogged it through the wall. Just like, resting my finger on the button and accidentally pressed it without really registering and let the door close in my face. And Give me another jump scare. Stupid, 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 stupid. Okay, well we're not getting in there from here, but what is the room? Uh, I guess we go back north to the main stairway. Right, there's the guard. Which way does he go? I want to go the other way. I, mean, I do want to go there as well, but... Okay, so there's just an exit onto the roof from here. And we have some nice shadowy corners. Excellent. Right, so even though he is probably going to turn the lights back on, I'm okay with that. There he goes. He did not turn the main stairway light on that. Someone behind me. That's the last time I Very weird to have two huge doors. Two huge sets of double doors into a I guess it wasn't originally a bedroom maybe, but Lucy Needles as well. So this is uh, Lucy. Two people with Lucy Needles, but I don't know why it's relevant. Again, I have no, no evidence to connect any instruments to. June 6th, I think I'm wearing Miss Crawford down. She acts distant as improper for one in her position. I can tell that deep down she'd like nothing more than to sing a rousing duet with me. I've been practicing every night in the bath for hours. I want Raymond to hear how well I can hit the high notes now, but for some reason he always seems to be busy elsewhere in the house. Isabel does not yet appreciate her mother's art artistry, but she will. 
Wait, Isabel, Isabel, Isabel was the daughter, was the child, right? B was Isabel's room. And there was one of the things. Queen of Spades. Overlooking Isabel's room, I should have checked that one. Within the walls of the secret cell, the queen can watch young Isabel. Hmm. I mean, I could be in the within the walls or something in the playroom, maybe, but. 101 knitting patterns for board society, ladies. Yes, yes. So, where is Lucy? Raymond's Key. My dear Raymond, thank you for meeting with me on Tuesday night. I have just received the dreadful news about your father. To think that such a terrible thing could occur while we were engaged in discussing such everyday matters as shipping details makes me shudder. Please accept my utmost condolences. I want you to know that I shall put our deal on hold for as long as you need. I'm sure the last thing you want right now is to have to deal with business. I will be ready whenever you are, and I enclose a sample for your inspection when you feel up to it. Yours sincerely, Julius Tabert. Tabert and Sons, Locksmiths. High security lock sample. Okay, what's... What am I supposed to do with that? Except drop it. So he wants a high security lock or something. So here's the thing. I can't... They don't have the empty chest for me to bring them with, as I was planning to do. I wanted to frame Lucy for it, thinking it was plausible. Victor Lovett's Miracle Cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? My dear Raymond, of course I understand. Many society ladies seek out thrills to relieve the boredom of their day-to-day -day lives. Some turn to drink, some to narcotic substances, and some, like your Lucy, turn to gambling. My colleague, Dr. Warren Filchert, is a renowned alienist and has much knowledge of maladies of the mind. I have arranged for your wife to have an appointment with him, so as not to frighten her or make her overly defensive. It will be an informal affair at his residence in Oldale at 7 on the evening of June 4th. Make sure she attends, and it will be the first step on her long road to recovery. Yours faithfully, Dr. Terence Graves. Well, the guard is not on this side, so... Oh. Is that where the guard went? Out to the roof. Okay. Where do I want to go from here? We're not on the ground floor, we're on the second floor. So I guess I want to go... There's the secret room over... No, that's not the playroom. But it maybe connects... Because that's... Bob Isabel's place, right? Let's try going around there. Let's head around to the north and east. Well, I mean, we'll go down a floor first, of course. God, he just goes and stands there, doesn't he? moved on but he just shifted his position slightly. <laughs> now he's going. Unfortunately he is also going exactly the direction I want to go in. What was that noise? If he goes that way I can cut through here. Here is a priest. Heavy Warhammer. Hello. Show you. Did it again. Bloody hell. Okay, uh, what are we looking for here? Jack of Clubs. What's the Jack of Clubs? The 
The red robed father's smiting arm will keep young Jack from any harm. Right hand of this dude. Is that what I mean? We read this as well already. I mean, this is his smiting arm in one sense of the turn of the turn, but. Uh, we read that, saying yes, I need to make sure I don't smite him myself. Ah, oh, the Red Robe Father's smiting arm. Maybe. Hello? Hello, okay. That is exactly the spot I wanted to find. Oh no, I'm in for another jump scare, aren't I? Oh, it's a check of clubs. Miss a pitch five. It appeared to have been constructed from intricate interlo interlocking pieces of bronze and inset with gold and jewels. Its face was demonic and sent a chill down my spine, but the craftsmanship was so precise that I could only think that whoever had made it must have looked upon their unholy subject directly. Nonetheless, its intrinsic value was obvious, so I reached out and took it. As I picked it up, I heard the quiet squeak of metal. By some trick of the echo, I thought it was coming from right behind me, and I spun around in terror. I realized that the idol in my hand consisted of moving parts, slivers of interlaced metal that slid across each other until it transformed its shape into a new configuration entirely. These slivers were razor sharp, and as it changed, it sliced into my hand. I dropped it in shock and stood dumbstruck as my blood dripped steadily into the dust. Right, whoop, wrong button again. Okay. So it's not the secret room I was looking for. That's the queen could not be here, right? But that is the suspicious vent. Okay, so wow, it, that little secret room has three exits. Seems overkill, really. For if you want a secret passage, to remain secret. However, we have answered the questions of. You know what, I can... I can do that. Okay, if we come out this way... The stairway here only leads to the roof, right? Didn't I leave someone there? Oh no, it's a different, different stairway. to get another vision range. Where am I going now? I really don't know. What have we got left here? Theatre one I haven't found. Front yard behind door I haven't found because there's far too many guards. Garden corner I haven't found. I was like, maybe that is the garden room? Above the roaring fire I haven't found. Purple hall I haven't been paying attention again. Bookcase, I don't know. Uh, that one we just found, yes, okay. Above court yard opposite clock we found. King of clubs. Right, I've got the king of clubs on me. I should have put it down already. Six of spares, jack of clubs, three of diamonds. Right, we found the one that was here. No, that's not opposite the clock, that's under the clock. So 
Curious to read one I haven't found. So like reading, you know, the Celts read a book one I haven't found. Stop jumping from nothing. Right, how do we get that? How do we get there? That's two floors down. The answer is not jump. Uh, the answer is go down here and downstairs in in this room. I wonder if that's also a secret uh, passage in the fireplace. Noise. Why would anyone want to do that? Seriously, no. Because he comes back pretty soon, I think. So let's wait for him. Well, maybe not quite so soon. <clears throat> any, any second now. See, told us so. Someone saw it, so I'm gonna make a hasty. Oh! Hasty drop down here, we can climb up the vines. Okay, I was not expecting that. I have seen it in some other missions, but uh, didn't even cross my mind in this one that it might be a thing. Means we can maybe climb up those vines directly onto this trellis instead of even moving up onto it. Okay, what was that we just picked up? King of Clubs. Let's take that one off. Now, I did want to be... To go back to the, the area of the playroom, right? So it's under the playroom, actually. So maybe that's what we need from both sides. Let's go check out the music room, shall we? I haven't really looked to see if the music room might be hiding a secret passage. Well, uh, some people are angry. Hopefully, they won't follow me in here. Hello. People. Okay, so no, the answer is the entrance to here. It's gotta be the entrance from in the security room, right? Because we saw the people in the dining room. We saw this one before. I know I saw this one before. Maybe the dining room chimney? Running low on water arrows. Nope, this one we can't even lean into. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think we need many more water arrows. That's probably fine, but.
What am I missing in this room? Maybe... <laughs> I rip up to the beam, there's something on top of one of these beams. I mean, I say rip up, it's like fractionally up, but it does let me see above them. No, I don't see any, like, any switches or anything on top of these. This is a door, right? Quite definitely a door. How's it open? There's somebody in the dining room. No switch hidden in the lamp. Or under the chair. Or behind the crate. This switch is hidden under here. So how? Well, the only answer is it must be there must be another exit like the other one, and it, entrance is above or below. Playroom. If it's below, I think this isn't going to be below. Let's, or maybe even the renovated under renovation part. Let's uh, go upstairs to the playroom. Is right here. Looks roughly like it lines up, but who knows? Okay, so this is Isabel's room, right? So if it is referring to another secret room. Could be there, it could be in the fireplace. Hello. I see it. Okay, that is not marked on the map, so maybe Theodore's room has the entrance to that. Of course, maybe not, but there absolutely is another secret passage there. Checking there wasn't anybody else on this floor. Well, I might be making some noise, Theodore, so. I have a feeling the signal ring is going to become important uh, later. Like, we're going to need to find somebody with the signal ring. Well, it's not hiding your secret passage. Like deliver somebody with the thing that ring to the to the thing. All right, let's turn the lights on. It doesn't appear to be a people in this wall. Although it is on that side that we should be concerned about. <laughs> I 
So there doesn't appear to be anything in the nature of switch. This is just his bathroom. That's oh, a light switch. Okay. Gonna read this probably. Oh, I did not. Okay, very, very, very important. Autopsy report. I've been wanting this for a long time. Okay, let's read it. June 5th, autopsy report. Subject, Lord Duncan Malvane. The victim was found in the theatre of his own home. Time of death was somewhere between the hours of 7 and 9 on the night of June 3rd. Victim was killed by a series of blows to the head. Individually, each blow may not have proved fatal, but together they shattered his skull and the victim died of a trauma to the brain. A series of blows to the head. The murder weapon was something heavy and round. Like the sandbags, like the compost sack, like the the head, the bust that we found on uh, a plinth in one room. Or like the crystal, perhaps. Some bruising to the forearms indicates the victim may have tried to defend himself. The victim's blood alcohol levels indicate he was very drunk at the time of death. Alright, so all of this is trying to suggest that he wasn't poisoned. But yes, he was very drunk. We have the wine, we saw the wine. He'd almost finished. That's the thing, he'd almost finished this bottle of wine. Why didn't he actually finish it? Okay, so between hours of 7 and 9 on June 3rd, you know, it would be nice to have that a long time ago. does not assist me with this problem. Let's go back west. I want to go outside and look across that part of the... Uh... Right. Hmm. <laughs> Can I make that jump, do you think? Probably not. Especially since this is so narrow as to make it hard to stand on, even when you mantle onto it. Oh, hello. Vines. Alright, fine. I'm down the vines. What I want to see is if there's a possibility that there's an entrance to a secret room. From the outside here. It doesn't look like it. What if there's. No, but it's a. Like it's in here. It's in there. Is that the old tower? It doesn't. I guess it's built in front of it, yeah. Go further up and climb down. That might work.
That's just where I want to be. One higher. Oh wait. No, the renovated the old renovated place. Wait, 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 we're one floor too high now, right? So we found found this. Found this. But it's the first floor equivalent we want, which not seem to be which not really doesn't seem to be reachable from here. I don't think I'm missing anything here. I guess while I'm here, we can. Uh... I'm gonna keep the King of Clubs. Because mm. it's the last one. Too many hearts? No. Six of spades. Three of diamonds. We'll do all the last ones all together because I don't know what's going to happen when we do. Is someone there? Got suspicious. Or maybe not. Hmm. I guess he went on. That is where I want to be. What the thing I want to try. I wanted to try is climbing down to the ledge that runs around here. It's not much of a ledge. Oh, that runs around the lower level, which is a wide, notably wider ledge, right? You see that one there? It's notably wider. <laughs> That'll do. I mean, it's not quite climbing, but it'll do. Let's uh, drink yeah. this. It just seems odd to me that it's wide ledge is also where we need the thing to be, but it doesn't make any sense to be where the entrance is, because there's no access to this ledge, right? So I guess I'm not surprised that this isn't anything. Where is the anything I'm looking for? I guess we have to investigate the playroom fireplace then. Oh, <clears throat> ow. Just throw any food. One apple, is that it? Yeah, all right. I didn't investigate this fireplace. We can't come up there. I don't think it's big enough. No, 
Oh, this one. Not really positioned usefully. Wait, there was a there was a bloody player in the fireplace. I'm all turned about. Please. Sorry, this isn't the playroom, this is Isabel's room. It's like, the entrance can't be here, surely, right? Well, two water arrows left. I'm not wasting my time, but... Is the pinhole. Maybe the entrance is in here. We already looked in this guy's room, right? Maybe the entrance is in the tower? Could be just the other side of this patch of wall. It's like peak passage that they built in when they built around the tower. He's on the floor above, isn't he? Yeah. I am frustrated. I am very frustrated because feels necessary to find all these secrets to unravel what's going on. Oh. Okay, found it. Alright. Finally. And that is the Queen of Spades. Yeah, okay. What? Necessary to find the cards, if nothing else. That was that was much more hidden than I uh, really expected. Hello. Scoffing at their fears, I led my men forward into the long abandoned courtyard. Its walls crumbling and trees growing in the sacred places. Their roots bulging up and cracking the flagstones. A yawning dark doorway led into the depths of the building that still stood. Our guide's reticence had already shaken some of the men, and the fear of this ancient shrine to forgotten gods was contagious. Thus it was that I found myself as the only man there, unafraid to breathe the darkness beyond the portal and see what lay within the temple's interior. With a flickering torch held firmly in my hand, I made my way through the doorway and down the cracked stone steps behind. The noise of the forest outside died almost immediately, and I was left in a close and watchful silence, following a long tunnel draped in old cobwebs and roots. So we got what? Page 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. We're still missing 12, 4, and 2. We're missing more cards than that. But I guess that's number. We've only been finding these in missives in the secret passages, right? Or primarily in secret passages. So, uh, leave it open? I don't know, whatever. I'm sure, it's fine. Okay. Well, that's some progress. That one. I still haven't found the entrance. And that's like directly under here, and I still haven't found it. Where can you make your secret passages? 
going up, guys. So much nicer. I mean, in theory, there could be one behind here, too, but it seems unlikely. You know, who knows, of course. Splishy splashy. I should have had this door shut before I just went jumping around on tile. Yeah, there, there is a gap there, actually. Check the security room again. Remember those are behind the bookcase? It might be that that bookcase moves. Hello. Yep, alright. So it seems like these are all around. Oh, people. I didn't even notice the people on the wall. Oops. Check the hearts. It's a 12. <laughs> uh, that one was, um... I mean, first I was expecting something, but I was expecting the figure, not the giant stone head that always looks slightly comical. But fair enough. And then in front of me, the metal slivers began to slide. I stared at the idol, stared at the full horror emerging as it changed, changed, and kept changing through its horrifying eldritch shape and into something else, something so terrible that I cannot now recall its shape at all. I remember it only as a blinding white light that filled my heart with despair and terror. I locked the vault and ran from that place. Upstairs, the doctor and midwife worked tirelessly. They did everything they could. But after many hours, my darling Maria succumbed to blood loss and passed from this world. My son, Duncan, was alive. I knew that my pleas had not gone unheard. The cruelest of bargains had been struck. As I looked down at the shining blue eyes of my son, I felt the idol's presence watching him with a hungry gaze. I knew only that I must keep him safe. The curse would have to die with me. Okay, good. One more secret area. It's not showing on the auto map properly, but uh, one more secret area dealt with. Just checking there wasn't anything on that wall. All right. Getting there, getting there. I mean, there was secrets in the library as well, and there's possibly another secret in the library that I haven't found the way to open yet, because there's a blank bookcase, right? But maybe there's nothing. So we've been in there. We've been in there. We've not been in there yet. This one was entered from there, and there, and there. We still- oh, we have a key! We have a key for that room. Right, let's go there. Um, that is the next floor up. Funny, like, the old tower is... Really deep purpose now, but it is an exceedingly uh, useful get way to get about between floors. Going. Right, he'll be in there. He'll be coming through that door any second now. Problem. 
Raymond's key. Alright, what's in here? What's the high security? Is this is Raymond's room? Uh, this is Raymond's chamber of kink. Okay. Raymond. You cannot seriously expect to be welcomed back to the club until this mess with your father has blown over. How do you think the City Watch or the newspapers will react if they discover the truth about the club? And for your own sake, do you really think that a murder investigation is the best time to risk revealing that you get your kicks from beating screaming girls in a smoky basement when you should be at home with your wife? There's a good reason we all wear masks. Find your kicks somewhere else until the heat is off. Tarkin. Senorita Spanks lubricating lotion. Some kind of rubber device. So this is like the diamond drill in uh, a social but now it's just an enormous uh, mechanist powered dildo. Multiple layers of old spattered blood. Yes, well, nothing here is criminal, just uh, old stained industrial welding mask. Alright, not quite the big secret I had in mind. Fine. Raymond, keep your secrets. Here I thought we'd find something plot relevant. No. I mean... It does suggest to me right it does seem to me right now that probably... The cause of death was... The thing, right? And the crystal. It's clear that the crystal and the thing are related. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thought we'd sit, all right. sit and wait for a bit, I think. He does not seem to be being spooked, so I guess that's good. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. And when we come back, we'll uh, continue with what I was trying to do. You have to wait until next time to see what it is. In the meantime, thanks for watching.